Thank you, dear colleagues. Sorry, let's see. So as someone who has struggled with addiction, I know how important it is to have a supportive community to lean on during your recovery. So that's why today I really want to recognize the, my part of my community who are here today uh, in support. I came to talk to legislators. There are advocates, individuals, family members who are here to talk about their loved ones, the struggles of, for themselves and their loved ones, and talk to you all in terms of the need for the community and advocacy. I also want to take the time to thank and honor and recognize the hard work and dedication of four amazing advocates in our community who have been supporting the people struggling with addiction and who they themselves have personally been impacted by addiction. It is a difficult and often uh, thankless task, to, but they have been working tirelessly to make a difference in the lives of those who are the most vulnerable in our community. And I hope that we, we can commit to support them in their ongoing efforts and, their, and struggle for uh, making sure that our communities are supported. So if you don't mind, please stand when I call your name. And I'm going to just give a little bit of background on everyone, so uh, if you can bear with me. So I would first like to recognize Kathy Schultz for her exceptional leadership as the director of the Governor's Overdose Task Force and the Executive Office of Health and Human Services. Kathy's personal journey of recovery has equipped her with a unique understanding of empathy for the struggles with substance use disorder. Her dedication and tireless effort to combat the opioid epidemic have made a significant impact on people's lives. Mm. Sorry, folks. And then, of course, I go breaking things. And tonight, we recognize Kathy in loving memory of her best friend, Kathy Tippin, who passed away from an overdose. So thank you, Kathy, for the work that you do. Next, I would like to... <laughs> Next, I would like to recognize Dennis Baylor for his exceptional work as a peer support specialist at Project Weber Renew and his contributions to the Harm Reduction Advisory Committee. Dennis, too, has had a personal journey of recovery and has so, so much compassion and empathy for those facing similar ch um, challenges. He is not only a passionate advocate for those struggling with substance use, but he is also a source of hope and inspiration for those in recovery. And tonight we recognize Dennis in the loving memory of Richard Smith. So thank you for your work. <laughs> Next up, I would like to recognize Jessica Jones Souple for her exceptional work as a certified peer recovery coach at Community Care Alliance in Woonsocket and her unwavering commitment to supporting individuals struggling with substance use disorder. Jessica's resilience, strength, and compassion are a true inspiration to those around her. We recognize her for her outstanding work and dedication to support individuals impacted by addiction and her unwavering commi commitment to make a positive difference in her community. She too personally understands the struggles with addiction and recovery because she's lived through it. And tonight we recognize Jessica in the loving memory of her sister, April. Last but certainly not least, there is someone who I truly admire and has become a very special friend to me that I want to recognize. I want to honor and recognize <laughs> Haley McKee, <laughs> who you all know. <laughs> it's a surprise, she didn't know. <laughs> I told her that they needed her support, so that's why that she's there, but I lied. Sorry. Um, for her exceptional work as the co-chair of the Substance Use Policy, Education, and Recovery Super PAC. You've all had inter interactions with Haley over the years and have seen her in full action. So you know of her unwavering dedication and leadership 
that have been instrumental in advancing policies and initiatives that prioritize the health and well-being of individuals impacted by substance use disorder. Haley's tireless advocacy for evidence-based solutions to address the opioid epidemic and other substance use issues has helped to drive meaningful change and progress in addiction prevention and treatment, which we've passed in this house. What's even more remarkable is that she is committed to centering the voices of the individuals and families impacted by substance use disorder, ensuring that their experience and perspective are reflected in policy decisions. Haley, I want to thank you for your outstanding leadership, for your commitment to the well-being of our community and the individuals that you serve and the impact on our state. Thank you very much. Congratulations to each of you, and, uh, and thank you for the good work that you're doing out in the community. Representative Cruz. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Announcement? Proceed. I just wanted to echo Representative Felix's word and um, just underscore and thank the work of Project Baby Renew, who has opened a drop-in center in my district, in my community in Pawtucket, and witnessed the hope that is brought to our community and the support and recognize two individuals up in the gallery up there, Ashley Perry and Alexis Morales, who are on the ground. Their tireless work in our community is, it goes without notice, like we notice it every day and we watch people come in without hope and leave with so much hope and potential. So I wanna thank you so much for the work you're doing there in, in my community, in our community, and what you're doing there. So thank you so much again, Ashley Perry and Alexis Morales. Thank you.